Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's W mi using Microsoft Excel uh, which could be an effect size measure f if you have for example a Pearson chi-square test of goodness of fit. Um, so I have some data here, that's just some data points and uh, it's from marital status and there were five different options, so my number of categories is five what we would also need is the Pearson chi-square value or the chi-square value in general. Uh, I have a separate video on the chi-square test where I actually calculate this, so I'm not going to uh, repeat all of that here. So I do put it in this spreadsheet, so here's a very quick way of calculating it. And in my case it was 1249.13. Um, the total sample size is just the number of data points. I could use count A, which counts the number of cells in the range that are not empty. So in this case, my entire column A. Uh, I need to subtract 1 because my column title is there as well, which isn't a data point in itself. Cohen's W is then simply this formula, which might look a little bit square, uh, scary, but it's simply the square root uh, out of that chi-square value and then divide it by the sample size and that's all there is to it. So in this case 0 0.80. I made a small user-defined function for myself. Uh, if you want you can download this uh, spreadsheet. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, and then if you open that file you can all en enable the macros then you can also use the function. It's probably not the most efficient way of doing this. Um, but uh, it works. It, it requires the chi-square value so that's this one, and it requires the sample size, and then it should calculate the exact same thing. Um, as for the interpretation, whether or not this is a small, medium, or large effect size, Cohen actually provided uh, three values for this on page 227. Uh, I would see this as anything above 0 0.5 is large, anything um, between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 is medium, anything between 0 0.10 and 30 is small and anything below is negligible. So I put those boundaries here. Uh, these are then the upper bounds so that I could use a VLOOKUP function. So that's short for vertical lookup. And then I say, well, I want to look up my Cohen's W. I want to look it up in this table. And I want to see the second value. Um, the range lookup I leave empty, so it's going to actually perform a range lookup. That means um, it will uh, search for the lowest, um, if it's not exactly in here, it will look for the nearest one that's lower than it, so 0 0.8. The lowest nearest to it would be 0 0.5, and that's indeed large. And that is how you can determine Cohen's W. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.